Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kenty Choir's Football Manager 2014 Newport Kenty YouTube series, Newport Kenty in the Premier League. We are now on episode number 7. We are in 15th place in the in the league at the moment. It's not looking too bad. We're playing against Leicester at home, which is one game which I think is very winnable. I'm going to take it to where we're team screen in it. Our squad. We brought in Ramati. Just change this to selection because of better information on it. Um, oh, I just thought I'd let you know I played the um, the FA Cup game just so I could get some signings in ready for uh, ready for the new episode. Obviously, um, I wanted to have <coughs> um, Ramati available, but then he was available for the game. He played against um, MK Dons. We won two now. I'll give you confirmation of that right here. We won 2 0 away at MK Dons and we drew Mansfield at home. We only made one, so we could well be the fifth round in FA Cup, one round away from the quarter final. Which is uh, good, that's a good draw as a home draw as well. So it'll be an extra bit of um, revenue for us. Okay, just let me show you now what's going on here. And we've got Ramati, and we've also signed Simone Falsatini. Uh, yeah, false, false, Falsatini. Yeah. Well, that's what it is anyway, as far as I'm concerned. And he, I'll just show you him quickly in the courts. He's a leading Premier League player, and he can improve. So he could be a great signing. Possibly uh, the next De Canio, you know? Big, big Premier League player for a small team. Hamid Ramadi, I think he was Iranian. Signed him on a pre-contract. On a pre contract, as a central defender, a leading player who can improve, Hamid Ramati. So, um, a couple of good signings and a couple of people that's going to help us stay up, hopefully. So, um, let's go back to here with home to Leicester. Let's kick on with the game. Okay, then, guys, as I mentioned in the last episode, that we will be looking for a bit of revenge in this game. Now, Almany and Moha, I'm going to go with them through. I just don't feel as though they get enough game time. And as I say, also, they're both good players. And Daniel and Asensio are both sort of hit and miss at the moment. So, you know, just to show them that they're not going to get into the team every time. Audrey Barge on the right, Ginny on the left, who seems to be settling there. He's no longer unhappy. So, um, obviously, the problem was settling. And the thing is, he's got an Italian with him now. I mean, uh, Falsatini, um, we got Torres playing, King is in, as Anderson still isn't back from injury, Ramati and Stoichic, Morganella, Arab. So let's uh, kick the game off. And a debut goal for Falsatini. And um, he was in a really good position because um, he must have only just broke the offside trap on this one. So Ginny puts the board in there. Kept on side, yeah. Just about perfect. Nice little finish, 1-0. Okay, we've gone in at half time, we're winning 1-0. Everyone seems to be playing at least decently, I'd say 6.5 is decent, and then anything above that is um, pretty good. 7 is good, and then going on then is when it's getting your awesome um, play. We're winning 1-0, we're on a counter attacking, and that's the, what we're adopting at the moment until we build ourselves a team where we can learn to control games in the Premier League. Um, I can say it's 1 0. It's the only chance of the game so far, that one. So uh, let's just uh, start the second half and then um, we will see if we can hold on to this lead. And it's 1 1, and it was a mixture of a bit of bad play and some poor defending, yeah. And we lost, uh, obviously, he committed himself a bit too much, which drew out our centre back here. He may have to be changed. But um, unfortunately, guys, it's 1 1. And it's finished one one year, a very, very uneventful game. Um, only the one, you know, obvious chance for them, which they scored. Only the one obvious chance for us, which we scored. But of course, much analysis, I don't think there was many attempts at goal, because it didn't show us how to do anything. Well, we were a better team, really, we should have won that. But um, it's okay, I mean, now obviously we've had a debut goal from Falsatini. Ramati looks alright. I hope he's not injured, um, because we had to take him off. He was the one with the little. Um, uh, cross above his head. Um, hopefully he's okay. 
But I'm just one one, and we have got more signings coming in, hopefully. So and hopefully for the next game, I'll be able to introduce some new people. So uh, without further ado, let's check out the table and then go we'll make those signings. Okay, guys, we're sitting on 20 points. We're a point behind, actually five points behind target in order to be 100% certain of staying up. Um, Swansea and Bristol City, as feared, have hit themselves a bit of a surge now. So that one point against Leicester, three points would have really sorted us out. So the left us on 22, the left us above, well, possibly even above Leicester. So, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, looking at it, I think we're more than capable of staying up now. I mean, with a couple of signings, we've got the likes of Swansea, Villa, Bristol City, West Brom, Fulham, and Norwich. We've got all them to play again. You know, I mean, we beat Reading for one at home, we drew Leicester, um, you know, we've We've had some good results at home and we've done well away as well. So at the moment, I'm pretty confident that as long as the game hasn't got an agenda to get us relegated, then um, we'll be all right. Anyway, um, we're going to crack on. We're going to see if we can make ourselves some signings. They'll, they'll certainly help us out. But guys, uh, we're playing against Southampton away next game. Uh, this isn't going to be an easy one by any stretch of the imagination. But um, we're playing a lot better than we were at the beginning of the season. And Foster teams on the bench because of you know eighty eight percent fitness from only ninety two. So we're gonna play Mer Mercia and Stoichich. Then we can always change things up if we need to. We'll be Daniel starting with Moha. So this is a decent team starting with Samaris. He's gotta come good at some point. Um I'm gonna give him a run out if he lets me down. He ain't gonna get another one. Simple as that. Anyway, let's see how things go now. And unfortunately guys are one more down. Um, we haven't really had a chance of goal at all, and we've had a couple, and this is one of them which they've obviously scored. Should have closed them down better on the left there. And obviously the mark and was bad, he got up above everyone. Keepers not going to stop that. 1-0. Okay, we're coming out of time on this 1-0. Um, I'll do bad, we're going to have a look at him because his fitness is deteriorating a bit. And um, at around about the 55th minute, if things ain't looking any better, we're gonna, I'm going to do a double substitution then. Anyway, I tend to find, you know, looking for the earlier impact tends to work out better for you. So that's what we're going to look for. Let's see how it goes. And it's 1 1. We managed to do it. I made the double sub. I took Audrey Baggio off the row, who ended up getting the assist here. And Falsatini, who ended up winning the ball from uh, within the hall of the, of the defence, nicked, nicked the ball, ran out of the pitch, played right the row, row, put the ball in, Alexic heads home. So two subs impacting well, and it's 1-1. One, one. And we've taken the lead now, and what an impact we're having. Falsatini is the scorer. He's looking like already he's going to be a top signing. The ball coming to Alexic. Weld it well. Falsatini got a rain of defence. Timed the shot perfectly. Hit it even better. Oh, what a goal. Brilliant. 2-1. And we've conceded in the 83rd minute. It's an own goal. It's one of those shit goals that we always fucking concede. Off a corner, which a lot of the time they tend to come from. There we go. Bobble, bobble, bobble. And Stoichich falls on the floor. It hits him in the ass, And it goes in the goal. Two fucking two. And there we go. It's finished 2-2, two, two, guys. And uh, before the game, I'd have been really, really happy with that. Um, unfortunately, I'm not happy because we were 2-1 up. And the way we gave that goal away, Stoichich finishing off on a 5.9. Um, we are in talks with another centre back, and obviously when um, Ramati's fit and we get the other centre back in, Stoichic's place in the team could be, well, he, he, he could be gone. He could be a goner basically. And we see, King is looking like he's he's decent. He hasn't been playing all season, but Anderson's going to struggle to get back into the team. But the one thing I am happy with is Falsatini and the impact that he's had since he's joined. Um, he obviously scored goals out of Goddard's points, which is exactly what we need. So I'm just going to see how this draw impacts our chances of staying up. Oh, just quickly, guys, I didn't bring it to this page. Completely even on attempts and on target, but we edged possession. So once again, it's a game that we could have won. I mean, guys, um, because teams are winning around us at the moment, it's tightening up, but as long as we're getting points, we're not doing that badly, but I'd rather be where Wigan are right now, which is where we should be, considering the way we've dropped four points in the last two games. But um, let's just go to fixtures. We have empty, I know we've got two more games, but 
we have one more Premier League game and then our FA Cup game. Um, I might instant result that so we can play the Swansea game and then I can see out the transfer window then. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to instant result that for the game. So let's get on with it. Okay, then guys, um, we're playing against Holloway. As you can see, we got Romati fitting back, Anderson fitting back. Lele is a player we signed from Leon. And the trick that I get is um, if you offer pre contracts to players who are going to run out of the season, you've got the buy now option. I think I mentioned this a few times before. With that buy now option, you only have to pay 600k for him. Romati was free. And um, Falsatini only cost um, 1.6 million because of it. So um, it's all good. Also on the bench, we got a new signing, Enchisio. He's a left winner. He's back up for Giannini. Jay Rodriguez is going to be moving on. I'm going to show you who I'm getting rid of. But um, yeah, as you can see, that's our bench. Um, Anderson is back, and that's a good thing. We need him back at left back. I'm quite confident about this game. Let's see how it goes. And it's 1 0, and it's Falsatini. Third game straight that he's played in, third game straight that he's scored in now, and this is a great header. Giannini gets released after a fantastic challenge from Anderson further down. Absolutely brilliant. And Falsatini, he's also good in the air. Bloody hell, fair play. 1 0. Unfortunately, it's 1 1, and it's a great strike from him. Um, there he is. Fair bit out as well. And obviously, the player gets in the way of the goalkeeper, our player there. Unless it was their player. Either way, it's 1 1. Okay, then, guys, half time. 1 1. Um, we're going to have to keep. I think Audrey Barger, I think I'm going to take him off, actually. Um, the row. He's not looking at his best. He's not playing particularly well. He's lost the ball a couple of times, which have eventually resulted in chances for them. So I'm just going to make that one change and kick the second half off. And it's 2-1 and Torres, this is the greatest individual goal I've ever seen. And you think he's just smashed two players. Fair play, keeper guesses the right way, it comes straight back to him, plonks it back in. But um, on the way up, he slid slid in and won the ball from one player, then he slid in and won the ball from another. Awesome, 2-1. And they've got a penalty, and we're moaning about it as we always do. Probably because it wasn't, it didn't seem much, they just jumped together. It's 2 2. Apparently, it, was, it took place here, they seemed to jump for the ball, both of them missed it, and they just jumped next to each other. There didn't seem to be anything wrong. And all of a sudden, they got a penalty. I'm not going to watch it again. And it's 3 2. It's Daniel Lexic, so I had to bring him on for Falsatini because of the fitness, but Moha hits the bar here. Watch. Boom, it hits the bar, and Alexic reacts to it first. 3-2. Let's please hold on to this. We need three points here. Yeah. And it's 3-3. Three, three. For fuck's sake. Wait to see from this angle now. Oof, that was close. May have just been on. But, um, no, I'm not happy with us throwing away the lead again. Do that too often. We may as well see this game out now. See if there's any last minute chances to be had either way. But an away point against Hull will still be a good point because they're doing pretty damn well at the moment. I think that's how it's going to finish it. 3-3. Yeah, three, three. We're scoring goals at least. And we're getting points on the board. But we just need to get a win from somewhere. ASAP. As soon as we possibly damn can. Morganello was the one who gave the penalty away. He's played at 5.6. But we have got to, hopefully we're going to have a new right back in the next day or two. So um, keep your eyes peeled. Morganello might be... Pushed for his place. Now, I'm not going to see the league table, I'm just going to push straight on to Mansfield, get it all of them done with, then do the final game, then we check the table. Just quickly, guys, as you can see, we should be thankful that we got the draw in the end, really, because it was, even though the possession was even, they had more attempts at goal, so come away 3 3, we've done pretty damn well, actually. Okay, then, guys, this is the team I'm going to go with in this game. As you can see, there's a few changes. It's a bit of a weaker team. Obviously, saving some of the better players for the important game that we got coming in up against the Swansea at home. So, I'm just going to go with the instant result and play for the win. So, let's see how we get on. A whole lot of good instant result and difference. It makes us draw one moment, bastards. Oh, for God's sake. 
Anyway, we're going to go with the more important game. It's going to be Swansea. But then, um, actually, we will see the draw. I'll take it to the draw. Okay, then, guys. The FA Cup draw coming right up. I'm just going to draw them one by one. We should see off Mansfield, even though it is away. So we'll have a look and see what we've got. Not Man United away. Not Man City away. All we, all we won't have Arsenal. We didn't. No. No. Ah, nice one. That's at home, it will be a home draw against Swansea, but yeah, we could well make it an FA Cup quarter final here, guys. We just gotta make sure we see off Mansfield. It's good incentive, a home draw against Swansea. Well, we're gonna see how we'll fare against Swansea now when we play them, so let's have a look. Okay, guys, this is our starting lineup for this game. This is not gonna be an easy game, but because Swansea have started hitting a bit of form, so the home advantage I'm hoping is going to uh, give us something of an edge. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a good enough team. False, uh, false team is looking really, really good, isn't he? And um, obviously the new look defence is uh, looking like it's going to keep bait for some, uh, some danger. So let's crack on with the game and see how we get on. This is the last one of the episode. And it's 1-0 and it's about time we scored a shitty goal. Fair enough, it was a shit, scrappy goal. But I'll take it because we don't get them that often at all. Head on. Well, Matty should have scored there, but it was a good save. Alexis was there to follow in. 1 0 to us, come on. Okay, guys, we're coming at half time and we're still winning 1 0. I take Falsatini off because uh, he picked up an injury, not a serious one, it's just a knock. I took him there, away 60 something percent. Obviously, I have to take him off he's shot back up. But anyway, it's 1 0. We're the better team. We've missed a couple of chances. They've only missed the one, but I wouldn't say they missed one. It was just showing how they nearly got lucky with the. Dodgy looking cross. So um, yeah, let's kick the second half off and hope we can hopefully we can hold on to this lead. And this finished one nil, guys. There was no real chances for anybody in that second half. Um, obviously, I made subs as we went along, and um, we ended up winning one nil. Um, not the most glamorous of wins, but you know we're not looking for glamour. We're looking for points, and this in in effect is a six pointer. So uh, this is mad. Uh, this is. Is mad how important that is. So I'm gonna take it to the table before we wrap things up. Actually, guys, I'm just gonna show how dominant we were in that game. Yeah, we're far too good to go down. You know, this is a team that should go down. We're a team that shouldn't. All right, then, guys. After that win, uh, a very, very important win that was. As you can see, why we're up on the 13th now, 25 points. We're a point above the amount of games that we played. We're three points behind target at the moment, but um. You know, as long as we're in 13th, then that's good. Bristol City have risen right out of it. Swansea, we've knocked back into it. Um, Aston Villa and West Brom have fallen into it. And Fulham are looking like they could fall into it. Bristol City, Norwich and Wigan are all getting results at the moment. So, um, you know, that's not kind of chickens. But the fact is we're six points clear of 18th place, which is a very, very healthy position to be in. Let's have a little look at our fixtures that we've got coming up. Obviously, after Mansfield, I'd imagine that more or less straight afterwards we'd be playing at home to Swansea in the FA Cup. But away at Liverpool, we can beat Villa at home. But two away games that are going to be very, very tough there, okay? So um, the next episode will consist of up to Manchester United, unless somewhere in there there's an FA Cup game to play, um, which will only take us up to Aston Villa. So um, yeah, we're looking a lot better now, guys. We are, we are, we're unbeaten in seven games, and if we can hold them to something, or at least pip them to something, that could be an eight-game unbeaten run. And what a time to get it, though, really. So yeah, it's all all's looking good now, guys. Um, I'm starting to feel a bit more confidence in our hopes for staying up, and I think, looking at it, well, I think we're pretty much well on course because I think we've got a couple of games we'll win, you know, a couple more games that we'll win, you know, quite easily, and um, I think there's still some scalps to be had as well. So it's making for a very exciting season, especially if we can get into the FA Cup quarter final, that make it even better. But um, no, let's wait and see how the next episode goes. So uh, for now, that's all, all we've got time for. Cheerio.